Hello, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Bone MIDI Translator as a MIDI through device. Uh, basically, what a MIDI through device does is takes an input from one MIDI source and distributes it out equally to uh, multiple uh, target devices or applications. So, first of all, I've opened a project. I don't have anything started here. Uh, in order to do this, I'm going to have to open the properties by clicking this button here. I'm going to define the MIDI input device that I want to use. In this case I'm going to use something on my desktop, a launch control, and then I can close the default MIDI ports. Uh, actually that's the input ports. I can scroll down to the output ports and I'm going to just send it to uh, Bone MIDI Translator Virtual Port 1 and 2 and I'll go, go ahead and send it to a couple of my loop MIDI ports as well that I happen to have on my desktop. Now in BOEM uh, you can actually also define a number if you have if you need more ports you can go to the settings uh, go to virtual ports and create up to I believe nine ports here I'm not going to do that today uh, or you can of course use uh, output devices that are your actual hardware output devices connected through your uh, through your USB connection or an adapter cable if you have standard MIDI in and out connectors to a USB connection. So now that I've defined my input and output ports I can go over to my MIDI router section and you'll see there's the input ports defined here. I can just drag and drop to the ports that I want to go to and uh, these are down further. I can go down, it'll scroll and down even further and it'll scroll and I'm going to just go back out to the project default ports and I'm going to deselect uh, one of the ports that I had selected because I really don't need it. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't see it here so uh, Oh, that's a, the reason that is was selected is it is a virtual port that I had defined. Uh, it's actually an alias for an existing port. If I were to delete that alias, then it doesn't show up. So let me go back to my MIDI router. Now you don't see it there. It was just an alias for the launch control, just as BMT1 and BMT2 in my project are aliases for the Bohm MIDI uh, virtual uh, MIDI translator virtual ports. So really that's all there is to it. There's really no programming required here. Uh, you just drag and you're all set up. No translators uh, to be defined. However, if I do want to overwrite uh, some specific rules for, for certain ports here, I could add translators and set uh, a swallow function that would allow us to redirect the output instead of going through the default ports. Now let's show it in action here. I'm going to open the log file by clicking this button over here to the right and I'll hit clear so we can have a clear window and I'm going to push a button on my uh, launch control and I'm going to push and hold it and uh, it's not working and there's a reason it's not working. Oh it is working I just don't have MIDI out selected so I will come down here and select all the stuff I don't want. I just want to look at what's coming in MIDI, what's going out MIDI. Clear that again, push the button, MIDI in, launch control, MIDI out, it goes out to all four ports that I defined. I release the button, it does the same thing. So that's all there is to it and uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video and if you have any questions you can feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.